I blame you for being surprised. This is why I told you coming would be a mistake. What's going on? He's my brother. Ma'am. Don't tell me. You gotta be kidding me. Damn it. How'd you know it was me? I was sure nobody saw my face. Yeah, well, maybe you weren't as careful as you thought. Now I suggest you come along quietly. Damn, we went to all that trouble fighting the Yakuza to get those weapons. No way in hell we're gonna get busted before we even use them. to Yakuza 4 Remastered. So, well, this woman here needs a bit of talking to. Everything okay, miss? You were talking to yourself just now. Oh, no, I wasn't. Um, I ah, didn't mean to surprise you. I'm with the KPD. Is there anything I can help you with? You're an officer? Then please hear me out. I'm on my way to work, but I feel like somebody's going to ambush me. I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. Makes sense why you'd be on edge. Where is it you work? Uh, in the Hunry building on Theater Alley. Oh, that's right around the corner. I'd be happy to walk you there. Really? Thank you so much. I don't see anyone suspicious. Has somebody been following you? Hi. Yeah, I feel like somebody's watching me on the way to and from work. I'm sure it's a stalker. That's not good. Have you notified the police already? Yes, they put this area on their patrol route, and that did help for a while, but now I can't help but feel like there's a set of eyes on me again. What's more, it isn't from the street this time around. I feel like someone's watching me from above. What do you mean? Hi. Well, whenever I leave my workplace, I see this mysterious silhouette on top of that building over there. I feel like that shadow is following me from the rooftop to all the way from work. Uh, all the way from the roof. Blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that shadow is following me f from rooftop to rooftop all the way home. At this rate, I can't even leave my own home. I know it's a lot to ask, but do you think you could go inspect the roof of that building while I'm at work? The roof? Huh. That's not exactly a normal patrol route. And unfortunately, we're rather limited to what we can investigate unless there's a warrant or some kind of proof. They said the same thing at the police station. Look, I moved out here from the country not too long ago. I am not too well adjusted to city life. It's terrifying here. I'll I'll even pay you if I have to. Just please, take a look at the roof of that pachinko parlor building and I'll be out of your hair for good. <sighs> Alright, if it worries you that much, then I'll go see what's up. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here, take down my number so you can call me if something's up. Would that be an issue? Not at all. Hopefully it's nothing. I can hear that damn stadium because I got the window open today. So the roof of the Pachinko Power Building on Theater Alley and West Tiki Boulevard. If I remember correctly, there's roof access from the multi-tenant buildings on both Theater Alley and Denkenshi Street. Ugh. Looks like I'm going up. Excuse me, I am an officer. You don't put your hands on me. See, now I wanna, I wanna, I would like to see what would happen, like, if I was wearing a full-on, like, you know that's a police officer from the outfit, if I was wearing that, would, would these guys still be attacking me? I mean, these guys are obviously dumb enough to keep charging people with literal fiery auras surrounding them. Uh-oh. Hmm. Right down this way. 
Okay, are you kidding me? Dude, you're not even doing... Yeah, you're not even doing your job. It's right there. And I'm the slacking cop. Hey, you guys. You're getting in the way. Go find somewhere else to hang out. Oh, well, looky here. A little punk with big mouth. You be looking to be on the bad end of a beatdown? Hmm. Well, well, well. Did you just... I'm sorry. What have you done to me? I got a bone to pick with the other guy here. Now you, what? Listen up. You taunt, I taunt. It goes both ways. On the ground! I actually like that heat action right there. I say I like a majority of Tenemoto's heat actions. So anyway. Thanks for the money. Again, I'm getting way more money is... Ooh. Wait, that can't be all the unique... Nah, couldn't be. There's no way I finished all the unique radio things. Maybe I did. Well, let's go visit the guy straight up. And we'll worry about other things afterwards. But yeah, Tanamora gets a whole lot more money than Akiyama. I wonder when we all meet up, is our inventory going to be shared? Oh, good, tanemoro san I've been waiting for you. Hey, Akashi-san. You mailed me about wanting to talk about something? Yes, some very strange rumors have surfaced about us. Rumors? That's right. Rumors that the Kamarocho God is simply a front, and that we're really black market arms deals. Any idea where that might have started? I haven't gotten a clue. Why don't you just ignore it? Unfounded rumors usually blow over on their own. That was my first thought as well. But then the police came to question me about it. I told them it's unfounded, but they claimed to have an eyewitness who said they saw one of our members involved in a shady transaction. Eyewitness testimony. Yes, yeah, someone wearing our outfit who was dealing in arms. Honestly, don't you find it a little strange that an arms dealer would dress in such a conspicuous manner? Hmm, there may be something behind this. I do we would take care of the problem ourselves, but though it's unlikely, it could be that one of our members is responsible. That's why I need your help. Since you're able to work outside our group, I was hoping you could do something. We'll pay you a reward if you, the matter is resolved. Alright, Nakashi-san. I'll look into it. I really appreciate your help. Shady transaction. If anything gets reported, I should hear about it on my radio. Alright, now I just need to keep an eye out for that. Wha this is a bulletin from HQ. We have a report of a suspicious transaction taking place behind Co uh, Kotobuki Drugs. The dealer is suspected to be a member of the Kamaroto Guard. Assistance requested from officers in the area. Hey, maybe it's that guy from the rumors. That quickly? How could we have gotten that so quick? Oh boy, good sneeze. Where's the mute? Where's the mute? Ugh. Oh no, here it comes again. Ugh. Thanks again. I really do owe you for this. Talk to you later. No problem. <laughs> this lets me sell my stuff without anyone suspecting a thing. Even if I raise suspicions, people will think it's the Camarocho Guard. Hey. Yikes. Cosplaying and selling weapons? Real nice. Look, you're causing a lot of headaches by dressing up like that. But I'm sure you already know that. Don't you? I have some questions for you, so how about you come with me? The hell I will! 
Shit, this becomes a real pain in the ass. Cause I gotta get rid of you. What are you doing? Who do you think you are? Ooh. Stand up, damn it. Here I come, boy. No, not the. Oh, oh, my God. I thought he was going to go for the teeth. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my fingers. I saw that in a movie once, too. Ah. My god. <laughs> uh. Agashi san, I caught the guy you're looking for. Wanna come talk to him? Yes, son of a. You think you can do this to me and live? Well, what do you say? Why are you doing this? Because you assholes kept getting in my way. I ran our way, that's why. I don't give a damn if you're in the neighborhood watch or whatever. Oh, that volunteer shit is screwing up our business. That's why we decided to mess with you a little. Heh <laughs> oh, cause you son, word is your group's numbers have gotten real low lately. We ain't stopping until your group's history. Don't you forget it either. You'll get yours. Stop right there. Tanamona san, no need to chase him down. I think I've caused you enough trouble already. Come on, Akashi san. You okay with letting him go like this? It's fine. I'm sure they won't use the same trick twice. I'm happy as long as they're no longer damaging our reputation. As long as we keep all our work honest, I'm sure people will believe in us. But those guys really seem like they have it in for you. That may be true. Still, after this incident, I hope they'll rethink their actions. In any case, I'm glad we were able to get through this without discovering it was one of our own members. You're a good guy, Agashi san. I guess as long as you're just satisfied with how it turned out. Tanimoto san, I truly appreciate all your help. This is a little something to say thank you. I'll be counting on your assistance if we run into any more trouble. You bet. Agashi san says it's fine, but I don't think they're going to give up that easy. I just hope I'm wrong. Well, that's a whole sub story right there. One that you literally are not told about. <laughs> but I guess I'm not gonna get anything else on the radio now? Hmm. Now we need to get up to the rooftops. This is Tiki Boulevard. The building with Pachinko Paro is more to the west. Here I am, the roof of the Pachinko Paro building. Nothing out of the ordinary. I think it might be better to keep watch on this place from atop the building across the way. Just jump. Wait. Wait, hold up. Alright, yeah, you, you just want me to go back over there. Oop. Who's it gonna be? It's not like nobody can see us from here. Is that the stalker? Hey, what are you doing up here? I'm a 
Mind your own business. Hold it right there. Wee. Now, now, boy. We ain't playing this game. Damn it. Get back here. You're gonna be running circles around me now, aren't you? Did you really think that was gonna work? Love how he's just called pervert. Oh yeah, you think I'm dumb? What the? Come here! Oh no, you don't. See, I know all this. Buddy. Cringe! Shit. Oh my god. I'm going in circles around you. Enough of these perverted misdeeds. You're going to jail. Man, you were a pain in the ass just now. Time to give that lady a call. Hello? Yes, this is Tenemore from the KPD. I caught your stalker. Ooh, I can really feel my glasses being pushed into my skull because of this headset. Uh, oh my god. Oh, hold on. You did? Yeah. He was shuffling around up here, doing, well, something shady. Emmy, wait a second. This is my brother. Huh? I'm sorry, Tanamoto-san. It looks like my family was trying to protect me after they heard somebody was following me. You didn't have to be so damn sneaky about it. But I was afraid she was going to yell at me for being overprotective. I'm really sorry for causing this whole mess. Please accept this as a token of my apology. Huh. Well, at least you have a family that loves you. Maybe a little too much. I just did what any caring older brother would do. I have no regrets. Yeah. Level up. What the hell am I trying to even upgrade next, anyway? Can I open the thing? I don't think I was going for that, because... Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. I get a... I parry, and then I get more heat. Yeah, that's actually pretty useful, honestly. Let's see... I should go for... I should go for a rising kick. I don't want to get drop kick because it's going to be messing with me. Okay, let's go. Let me grab this. What's next? Um, what about the stuff with the old man? He was like getting captured or something. Open up, I'm going too far up.
Naomi's palace. Really? That's where I gotta go now? Okay. I have anything to pick up at the house. I mean, I do have things to pick up, but I'm not picking them up right now. I'll pick them up when we get the cure to you. Um, I just old lady voice, I guess. Welcome, welcome. What can Naomi's amazing psychic powers do for you today? I'm looking for a, f uh, Vopi v what? Vopina? Vopina woman who's caught missing? Her name's Nadine. Nadine, you say? Was she your sweetheart? You must let go of what is gone. Accepting the inevitable is simply a part of life, young man. Are you going to help me or not? My friend Zalsan over here and over in Little Asia said you have power to see the unseen. Hmm, yes, but my services do not come cheap, Detective Tanamura. You know who I am? What sort of psychic would I be if I didn't at least know that? Naomi sees all. Knows all. Right. Okay, then. Do you know where Nadine is? What are you doing? Silence. The great and powerful Naomi must concentrate. Yes, yes, I see a name. Saki-chan. You should go to ask Saki-chan. Saki-chan? She will give you the information you seek. You're not giving me the runaround, are you? Hm. <laughs> if you do not trust my powers, you can take your business elsewhere. Fine. Then just tell me where I can find the Saki-chan. Near Pink Street. She'll be wearing a purple scarf. Thanks. If this goes well, you'll have yourself a new customer. Hm. <laughs> Come again. Part of me feels like this is Saki from 3, but probably not. Alright, so I've completed that from doing all the training. I can give that stuff to Kiryu. There we go to our completion list. I've finished about three things here. I'm supposed to this gang encounter is a Kiryu thing. So I gotta head on down to Pink Street, eh? Huh? Really? More? Down the road? Up the road? Must be up the road. Here. Oh, no, wait, here it is. Come on, you know you want to hang out with me. I told you, I'm not interested. Somebody get this guy away from me. Hey, I'm with the police. You better knock it off before I haul you in. Huh? Mind your own goddamn business. I'll pick up cheek. Uh, let's say cheeks. I'll pick up chicks however I like. I bet he does. Alrighty then. Here we go, buddy. I actually want to see the, how much heat I gain from parrying. Uh, not a big amount of heat, but it's decent, I guess. <laughs> Whoa! That's a, and it goes right into a grab. 
You really saved me. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Um, detective, do you think I could get your phone number? Oh, um, I'm really not allowed to do that. Uh, okay. Responds. No, thank you. I didn't know how close we were. You should have. I said, bless you. Thank you. All right. I was going to Pink Alley. Not. Yeah. Is this? Is that her? Must be. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Don't don't make me talk to him. Don't don't make don't make me. No. I, ooh. <laughs> Why do they always do this? So that's Saki-chan, huh? Well, I guess no one explicitly said what kind of woman she'd be. And a purple scarf. Could I have gotten some other clue? An accessory that anyone could wear isn't exactly a distinguishing feature. Uh, hey there. Would you happen to be Saki-chan? Oh, hey there yourself. Don't tell me you were about to use a pickup line, weren't you? Isn't he adorable, folks? Actually, I'm looking for somebody. A woman named Nadine. Oh, shit. Hey, get back here. Why is there always cross-dressing men in Japan? <gasps> what the? F I can never jump over those. Come on. Uh-uh, I'm not about to get you touching me. Get back here. I don't know who the hell you're fooling with that walk, buddy. <sighs> Look, I think I have the wrong idea. I'm not after Nadine. In fact, I'm trying to help her. Oh, you really? Cross my heart. So what's with the whole chase sequence as soon as you saw my badge? Are you hiding something? Well, the thing is, I help people. Help them how? I use my connections to help foreign women when the cops or criminals come for them. So I take it you know Nadine, then? What would you do if I found if you found her? Let me put it this way. She'll be dead if I don't find her first. And I'd like to get her home safe before that happens. Alright, I know where she is. I'm actually the one looking after her. Great. Can you tell me, can you take me to her then? Well, you do seem like a decent guy. Alrighty, Pooh, you just follow me. I, I, I want to take my glasses off because, God, I'm feeling the pain. So you're Nadine? Yes. He says he's here to help you, dear. Really? Yep. Had a heck of a time trying to find you, too. Nice work. She's not out of trouble as yet. Those creeps have her passport and she can't get home without it. You mean, the human traffickers? I take it you've run into them already. Well, it's not only trafficking they do. They're in charge of managing the women they bring in too. Managing? In what sense? They take the women's passports so they can't escape, and then give them just enough money to eke out a meager living. They're essentially modern day slave drivers. Ugh, that's terrible. I hate bastards like that most. You have any idea where they went? In a dilapidated food warehouse on the docks. I want to go back home to the Philippines. Don't worry. I'll get you your passport back. You will? Yep. Just leave it to me. Guess I'm going back to the docks. I need a taxi. Mm-hmm. 
Golf course. I ain't playing no damn golf. A food warehouse on the docks, huh? And those must be the guys who took Nadine's passport. Excuse me. I'm here for the passports you've been stealing from foreign women. Wait a minute. Aren't you... Yeah, you bet I am. If you don't want to get hurt again, hand over the passports and make it quick. You're one cocky son of a bitch, you know that? Alright, you're up. Come on out. Oh, what? What the hell do you feed this guy? Milk? Beef? Growth hormones? <laughs> 